All right, guys, I hope you follow this channel, and if you do, you know that it's not very often that I get my mind blown by a Ryobi 40 volt tool, but this here is their new eight inch brushless auger. Guys, you gotta stick around to see this. Stay tuned. There are two reasons why I picked up this eight inch auger. First, I have a 12 inch auger that goes on the back of that tractor. It's a pain in the ass to hook up just to drill one or two holes. And when I'm planting 15 trees a year, this dude will work perfectly. Two, I have a mailbox to put in place at the bank. So this is going to allow me to do that easily or easier. So it was well worth the purchase of trying it out to try to get into this review. Right now, it is March. The ground is still half froze, super wet, and the ground I'm working in is very heavy, very, very heavy. No matter what, there is zero light sand out there at all. It's a lot of heavy clay. So when I put this in the ground, I kind of expected us to go down, hit a little rock in the anti-kick protection, kickback protection in this to kick in, and for me to get, you know, just if for it to stop. I never expected it to push me around or do anything. This tool comes with a four amp hour battery and that was one of the things I was like, uh, come on, give me something new. Give me the six amp hour battery in it. And I did test that, but the four amp hour battery was pushing me around to the point where if I wasn't kind of a big guy, I would tell someone when they grab this, hang on, because this thing's really gonna go at it. So the first couple holes that I went through, I started out low and it, it did well. I went to high and I kind of assumed that maybe high would be a little faster, not as torquey, not the case. High is more torquey than low and it is spinning faster. So when you get in and get down into that clay or if you hit a root like I did a couple times, Hang on, that anti-kickback protection on here that I kind of thought was, ugh, because we see it on drills all the time, right? We're just going, going, we get to the end, it stops. This anti-kickback protection is there, and it's there for a reason, and it works, and it does not work too soon. So you have to be hanging on to this. There's rubber overmold on one side of this rail. Guess what? That's the side that's gonna come back and hit you in the hips or hit you in the leg as it's going down into the dirt. Serious stuff, and it works great. So if you're looking for something that is going to be able to dig eight inch holes, clearly full depth holes if you'd like to, so you got, let's say three feet-ish here, no problem. Especially if you're in lighter soil. And if my soil was dry, 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 this probably would not do real well because nothing will. I can put a rototiller on the back of that tractor and it'll just sit and bounce on top. Uh, if it's wet, 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 I didn't expect it like this to go through it and it did. So for 98% of all situations, this is going to go through it. And if you have a rocky situation, like I ran into some roots and rocks that just backed it up a little bit, let it go forward, it kept digging through, obviously, any rock, even on a big unit, like what I would put on the back of that tractor, can stop one of these. So if you're in super rocky ground, don't expect a lot out of an auger, even if it's on a larger tractor or a bobcat. Guys, this is impressive, flat out impressive. On the box, they rate this motor torque at 1.9 foot pounds. That doesn't sound like much to me. I don't know a lot about that. I was looking for a horsepower rating or something like that. 1.9 foot pounds to me is, is nothing, but it obviously is something here. This guy weighs 40 pounds. So if you're gonna lug it around in a lot of different areas, it's not the motor in the gearbox that's very heavy. It is the auger and everything else. Let's come in and take a quick look around this is what we can see. And I'll show you a little bit of its operation. All right, if we look under here, we can see the gearbox. Looks like it's aluminum. Up top, basically, we have our brushless motor, and then our battery slides on and off in the back. There is a quick connect just below here, so you can take the auger on and off. 
no issue. Handles on each side. You have a trigger on your right hand side. You can see that trigger here. It has a safety on it so you just can't pull it back. And then you have your three speeds. Reverse, low, and high right there. So you can pick out whatever you'd like. If we put this guy, well let's just start it out on low. You would obviously want to pick it up off the ground to start. and it starts going and then you can drop it in and go. Now I have started this on the ground and let it slowly dig in. It worked fine there. Let's try high. You can tell that's moving significantly faster. Then there's reverse. Now if I switch that trigger while it's going, like I just switched it to reverse to high, it'll stay in reverse up until the point where I let off the trigger and then go back in high. Now, let's flip this around. While it's running, you'll see this green light come on. If you hit a fault or an overload, like where it just overloads and hits something or buries itself, this will turn red, just letting you know that you overloaded it. If it starts kicking back on you and it stops because of a kickback, it'll turn blue. So this little light will tell you exactly what you want to know at all points in time. This is the padded arm because as this is spinning, this guy is going to come back and want to hit you here if it hits anything. So it's nice to have this padded. It is balanced as you can see. I can pick it up in the middle of these handles, no issue. It's heavy to a point, but man, this thing works. Surprisingly, this guy was not hard on batteries for the holes I was digging. While it's super wet outside, I'm going to make an assumption that you're going to get 30 holes per battery in pretty demanding work. That's a guess. Uh, it's too muddy out here to continue to just bury this thing and do a runtime test. I'll try to get that to you in the spring. I did throw a 6 amp hour battery on here and if you're willing to throw this much larger 6 amp hour battery that has three P, so three stacks of the cells inside. It spreads the amperage out over them and it's gonna last a lot longer and give you, a, this is the battery that should come with everything. But in this case, throw this dude on here, really hang on, no joke. I mean, literally hang on because it will increase its power. It will still give you the kickback uh, protection, thank God, but this dude really adds some torque. So. If you're looking for something to you know, dig some holes here and there, something that's somewhat portable, this rocks. It's great. I love it more than what I had a little gas one. In fact, they used to have gas ice augers and stuff. Someone's going to ask me, will this work as an ice auger? Yes, it doesn't really have an ice auger bit at the end. It's a little heavier than what most ice augers would be. And to be honest, an 8-inch ice auger could be run with a drill. So I, I probably wouldn't pick this up for ice. It's really meant for dirt. It doesn't have the speed either. So this thing is a gem in the Ryobi line, especially the 40 volt line. So if you're looking at something like this, do not be afraid. Leave some comments below guys. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.